Here's what's pumping in the world of young Hollywood. This is Nick Swartz and you're watching Pop Stop TV. <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Shishi Yang here for Palm Stop TV News at the red carpet premiere of A Haunted House. We're chatting with the entire cast to find out why this film is so perfect for all of us who are suffering from post-holidays depression. Check it out! We're investigating paranormal activity at the Johnson Residence in suburban Los Angeles. Uh, yeah! I kicked you in your ghost balls! I got some for you! Congratulations on the film. How much fun did you have working with Marlon, Nick, and the whole gang? Oh my god, I hated every minute of it. It was awful, and I will never do it again. No, this is my third time working with the Wayne, uh -huh. so I clearly I must enjoy it either that or I'm just a masochist. It was so much fun. It's one of my favorite characters I've ever played. It's all about pushing it. We pushed it over. Here's the line. Uh -huh. We're like a kilometer that way. Dang! Oh, dang. Dang is an understatement, honey. Dang is... Ooh. He must be Malcolm. Yeah, that's pretty good. How'd you know? Ah, uh, psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of powers all over my body. I gotta say, your character's accent in the film is kind of amazing. Can we do this entire interview with that lisp? I can't even remember. Hey, yeah. So I, it was something like, kind of like this. It was, it was something like that, yeah, yeah. While you guys are both here, I want to ask you guys this. Check out this photo of Marlon. Yeah. I mean, that's hot. That's really him doing that, though. Yeah. That's the thing. He's incredibly yeah. flexible. Uh -huh. Him and Russell Simmons take the same yoga class. That's right. Can y'all do this? Can y'all try to give it a shot? Oh, come on, let's... Oh, Avion, I know you got some moves. He's flexible, right? Yeah, yeah, let me... Let me. Okay. Come on, let's do it. Oh, my God, if you do it... I'm chilling. I'm chilling tonight. Can you really do this in person? I'm flexible. All right, can I, we see it? I could gag my whole self. <laughs> I have to stretch a little bit. Okay. I don't want to rip my suit. I, I want to rip my Hugo Boss, but otherwise, of course I could. Okay. That's how I get the ladies. Right. One cool thing about the film is that it kind of spoofs on the whole paranormal activity situation that's stolen footage. If we were to steal footage from your phone, what kind of footage would we get our hands on? Oh my god, that's a really great question. A couple of Mandingo parties and, okay. and um, you know, maybe a, a nice little yoga down dog pose and, <laughs> and maybe me just kind of sticking my tongue out at Marlin. Ooh, yeah, want to get some. Me hammered. <laughs> the last video I have is over the winter break and the Minnesota Vikings, where I'm from Minnesota, and they beat the Green Bay Packers. So I have a whole video of all this footage of wow. me and my friends at the bar just obliterated singing We Are the Champions. And this whole bar is just like, We are the champions. Just like so obnoxious and just pouring shots on each other and just like. Oh my gosh, so you are that person in your bar, huh? Yeah, I like, to, I like to have fun. I'm a funner. A bunch of videos of my kids dancing. Oh, there we my go. My daughter's room with One Direction. You can't even see Aww, that, can you? See, first honest answer here on the red carpet. We love my it. My daughter has 276 pictures of One Direction. She's so happy about it. Bar. Are you gonna go to get this demon out? I'll do anything. What is this supposed to do? This just got weird. In the movie, you play Malcolm, someone who's trying to save his girlfriend and get the demon out of the girlfriend. If you could get the demon out of a love interest you played in previous films, which one would you choose? Um, I probably wouldn't take it out of any of them because I would keep it in there because, you know, uh, sex with a demon is great. <laughs> Why do you think this movie will be perfect for all the audience out there who are suffering from post-holiday depression? Post-holiday depression? Oh man, don't don't even just pop some Prozac and watch the movie, or or don't pop some Prozac. Just watch the movie. It's cheaper than Prozac. Laughter is the best oh, medicine. That's, That's what the Bible says. Yeah. It's free. Laughter is free. It is. Laughter is free. You gotta pay for it. But you gotta pay for this movie January 11th. You gotta pay for that. January 11th, people. Haunted house. You ain't doing theater. nothing. You ain't doing nothing. You really aren't because you're broke. You only have $14 anyway. So just spend it on a movie ticket. Go on and spend that money, boy. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.